It is a song that has rent the air through generations, its sweet melodies echoing across the hills, heralding the start of bumper harvesting season. However, in recent years, the term bumper harvest had faded into oblivion and the melodious tunes disappeared too, thanks to a global weather phenomenon. <laughs> Lakini baada ya wiki moja mbili hivi hiyo mfua inaenda na hiyo mahindi kama ulikuwa umepanda mahindi haita utapata mapato. Ukiangalia mashamba yetu unaona hata hata nyasi hakuna. Kwa nini? Mfua ilinyesha kidogo. Kwa hivyo hatuna hatuna chakula ya ngombe ya kutosha. Ngombe wengi, wanyama wengi wamekufa. The rains are no longer enough for production. Um, we are left with uh, very limited options as farmers, as extension officers, in terms of um, access to food and basically nutrition. But amidst the gloom, a silver lining appeared on the cloud on January 2021, and the melodious songs of yesteryears are filtering back. The secret to restoring good harvest lay in introduction of a new variety of sorghum and millet that would withstand the harsh climate conditions. We are encouraging farmers to abandon to the uh, traditional method of farming, that is conventional farming to conserve agriculture. And here, where we are going to be able to grow in the soil, the crops, 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 the a partnership between Tegameo Cereals Enterprise Limited and some 20,000 smallholder farmers is geared towards strengthening resilience of the affected communities in the semi-arid counties of Tarakanithi, Makweni and Kitui. Before, farmers never used to know whether they were rot resistant crops or not. They couldn't plant just anything. They never even, they didn't have a knowledge on certified seeds. They could go, get into their stores, get their food and replant. And then this is how production went rolling. We partnered with research institutions like Carro, ICRISAT, Egerton University, who are really helping us to come up with these varieties. I conserve this shambalangu. I have a lot of people who are in the world. I have a lot of people who are in conservation agriculture. Minimum soil disturbance, crop rotation, na soil cover. Eh, i nizi sa tuta ngwa i. Kwa sababu tuki ngwa i, iyo nita kuwa chakula ile mi anitapanda next time. Nitafanya crop rotation, nitapanda ndengu, na nitapanda hapa dui iko. So that ile nitu yantiko kwa, kwa mizishi ya mawere, itakuliwa na ndengu na ikuwe vizuri. Na uzuri wa hii method ya farmi ni kwamba hata mbuki nyesha kidogo. Siwezi kota kikosa kisu kitu kwa shamba langu. As compared to the other uh, only method of farming. Ana tuambia tu, tupande, tupande kwanza kabla ya jambua kunyesa. Kwa sababu ukipanda kwanza utafuna mafuna hata mbuki kiwa kidogo. Ni lasima ufune. Kama wakati yu asa nyi munaona kwa shamba langu magole yangu ni matams ni... Ni masuri sana hii mba, mba ya fortified. Nilipanda ikiwa kwanza kabisa kabisa. Mbwa ya kwanza wakati nanyeza, nakuta mbegu kwa mchanga. Catherine Mbili, a farmer in the Tegemeo Network, demonstrates importance of conservation agriculture in her one-acre piece of land. As a farmer's trainer, she practically shows her fellow farmers how to adapt to climate smart agriculture techniques to increase their harvest and resilience to a changing climate. Ukiangalia kwa shamba yangu utapata nimefanya kama basins. Ukiangalia mahali kuna mawele nimefanya basins. Ukiangalia mahali nimeweka mtama, nimeweka rip lines. Hizo rip lines eh ndio ninatumia kupanda mimea yangu. Hapo ndani hiyo ripline ndio nitaweka mbolea kama ninaweka mbolea niweke fertilizer na mbegu yangu nipande papo hapo bila kuharibu eh, 
mbolea yangu ama fertilizer yangu Unajua sasa hiyo ukulima ya nini ile tunalima hapa si ametuonyesha huko huko mwisho ni tofauti sana na hii 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 ndio mimi naona mzuri sana hata nimesoma kitu tutakuwa tuki, tukipanda mavema na tukipanda hii kwa hii hii, hii malaini and aggregating the grain they harvest to ensure they get a good market for the grains they produce sasa wakulima wote tunahakikisha ya kwamba wamelima vizuri na wakitumia uh, agriculture wamepiga ndawa vizuri wamedhurezi vizuri na wameuzia tegemeo to feed 9 billion people by 2050 the world needs to increase food production by 70% by december 2023 the tegemeo partnership seeks to reach 10,000 more farmers with affordable and nutritious sorghum and palm millet based foods